Hey everybody, welcome to another edition of RV Quick Tips with Mike, your number one how-to source for all things RV. Hey, today we're going to be talking about a few easy steps to hook up your RV to a fresh water source. That's what we love about these things, right? They have indoor plumbing, but in order to have indoor plumbing, we need to hook it up to a fresh water source. So let's check it out. Let's start with the things that we know we're going to need. You need a good quality drinking water hose and make sure that it's rated for drinking water. Don't grab one of these out of your garage that you use in your garden and washing your car with. You want to make sure that it's rated for drinking water. A water pressure regulator is also very important because your RV is designed to work under low pressure. Some optional items that you might find helpful is some pliers to make a good tight connection in case you need it. Don't over tighten. Have some gaskets available because those little gaskets wear out sometimes and get brittle. Handy to have a few extras along. A Y connector at the faucet, the spigot, which I'll explain in a minute. Bleach and water combo to disinfect the connection before you hook up your hose. And a water filter is a handy thing to have as well. The first thing I like to do is come over to the water spigot, turn it on, and then disinfect it before I hook up. So I'll give it a quick turn, make sure we've got water coming out, and then I'll come up here and hit it with some bleach and water. I don't know how the person before used this. He could have been rinsing out some cooking utensils or even his sewer hose right here. I want to make sure it's disinfected. I'll give it another twist, fresh water, and then I'm ready to go to step two. Step number two, I like to use a little Y connector turn this thing on there and then what that does is it allows me the opportunity to have one side supplying a garden hose for another use while this side is supplying my RV with fresh water. The next step is to attach your water pressure regulator and that's where these things sometimes come in handy. I like to take these and put a little extra twist on this and make a tight connection. Just don't over tighten. Once you've done that, come up here and thread this on to the spigot. Make sure you have a good tight connection here. It's one thing I like about these with these nubs, it makes it easy to make a tight connection. It's important to have this because it controls the pressure between 40 and 60 PSI, which is what your RV is rated for. Once we've done this, we're good to go to the next step. All right, the next step, once you've hooked it up, is to open this up and fill up your hose with water. This thing's empty right now, I'm gonna let it fill up with water and run out, then close it. I like to do that because if there's any debris in there, it pushes out the debris, but more importantly, it fills the hose up with water. So when you hook this up to your RV, it's not spitting and sputtering at the faucet when you turn it on inside. The last step, easiest one of all. Take your water hose, fit it up here, and thread on the connection at your camper. Like so, good to go. Hey, here's a bonus tip. When it comes time to go home, before you unhook this, release the pressure in your tank or your system by taking your outdoor shower, opening up the valve like this, getting rid of the pressure, and then loosen this. That'll save you from getting a face full of water when you unhook this. Another bonus quick tip is this. When you get this unhooked, come down here and hook your hose end to end like this. That way, when you store it, you don't get your storage compartment all wet and it keeps debris from getting in the hose. Just another tip, when it comes time to fill your potable water tank, that means your drinking water tank, all you have to do, take your hose, put it up in here and start filling it up. It's gravity fill. You can put as much water in there as you want. My suggestion though is only put in enough water for what you need on a trip. Water is heavy. No need to fill the tank up if you don't need a full tank of water. You can go inside and look at the gauge on the inside and see how full it's getting to be. Or you can literally just fill it up until it runs out and you know it's full if you want to fill it all the way up. Hey, thanks for joining us for another edition of RV Quick Tips with Mike. Make sure and check back here often for more how-to videos on all things RV. Thanks for watching our video. If you have any questions, be sure to drop a comment below. Or if you have any suggestions on content you'd like to see, we'd love to hear about that. Go ahead and give us a like and subscribe to our channel. Thanks again from Bot RV.